Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a SharePoint list to manage your projects. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because we put out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So you want to use a SharePoint list to manage your projects. So I like to keep everything in a SharePoint because that's like the central place the team goes to check up on things and it's easily manageable for file storage and list. So to manage projects in a SharePoint list, you're gonna to wanna to go to the SharePoint. You wanna to go to new, and we wanna create a new list. So we wanna do a blank list. I believe there's also a work progress tracker right here for a template if you wanna use that one. I'm just going to make one from scratch, but if you find that the work progress tracker one suits your needs, feel free to use that one. I will do a blank list and we will do, since I'm in the marketing SharePoint, we'll do marketing projects. And I want to show in the site navigation, so it's on the left hand side. Okay. So I'm just going to create some columns here. So for the first column you have the title field this is an all SharePoint list we're going to want to rename this for projects and that will be where the project name goes so let me actually change that to project name that sounds better project name so next we want to do the status of the project and for that field I'm going to do a choice field because that will give me some color bubbles and allow users to pick from a set list so we'll do status, uh, description will be project status, choices. So for the choices, there's a, f you can do whatever you want, but here's a few uh, default ones that I'll do. So we'll do uh, not started and progress. On hold, completed and rejected and then if you want to switch around the colors you can go ahead and do that so we just change that to not start it and progress be like green or something on hold yellow completed could be like red and rejected be that so this will only be a single choice column so no allowing multiple selections because the project can only be one status at a time so let's go ahead and click on save now we got the project name, we got the status. Let's do priority. So we will do cho another choice field for this one. So this will be the priority of the project compared to the other ones in the that you're handling. The choices you can do would be low, normal, and high. And if you even want to do critical, you can do that. So those are some options you can do. You can do whatever ones you want. And we want to do leave this a single, single choice field as well. So for the next column, I want to do project type. And we will do another choice field for this. So project type. So I like to do what software you're using for this project. It all depends what type of team you're on. For like marketing, it'd be like holiday project, celebration, and stuff like that. So I'm going to do more marketing things, but if you're using like software, you can do like Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, Outlook, things like that. So we'll do celebration, birthday, um, team meeting, no, meeting. We'll just do revenue. I don't really know too many marketing things, so uh, we'll just do these options for the project type since I'm working on the marketing. And for this one, you actually want to allow multiple selections because the project can be kind of two things. So we have four things right now. For the next column, I want to do person. So this will be the users assigned to the project that are within your team. If you want to allow selection groups, you can go ahead. For the next column, we want to add a, another person. This will be the project users. And this will be if you're working with like different departments, you want to include those users as well. So you have a track of who you're working on the project with. For the next column, we want to do dates. So some useful pieces of information will be like when you start the project. So a start date will be handy. You don't need to include the time. 
friendly format. I don't like friendly format too much, so I'll just leave that blank. And along with start date, you want the completed date. So it's going to be completed dates, description none. Everything looks good. And last, we will just include some notes. So that'll be a multi line of text. And this will just be any basic, basic project notes that you have that you want to add. And we'll click on save. For the columns, we have project name, status, priority, project type, signed users, project user, start date, completed date, and notes. So if I go ahead and click on new, we have the project name. Let's say uh, we want to raise sales by 20%. I'm trying to keep it marketing related. And we can do it's in progress because we want to do raise sales by 20% for quarter two uh, priority this will be high project type it would be revenue uh, user assign i'll just do michael and then i think i have bob in here as well actually we will do bob in the project user so we'll do bob and then i think i have an alice no i have an abby we do have an abby so we'll use abby uh this is only a single choice right now. If you want to do more than one users, you just have to select it to be multiple users. Start date we will do for quarter two, we'll do, we want to start this on April 8th, 2023. There's no completed date yet. And for the notes, we can't, we must prioritize this project for our company. Some basic notes. And if you have attachments, you can attach them as well. So when you have a ton of projects, this will help manage it all. And you can make updates to the SharePoint list. And since it's all all this information is on a SharePoint list, you can actually use that and make graphs and Power BI. Or if you want to use this and make like a Power App, you can go ahead and do it. But having all this data on a SharePoint list allow you allows you to do other things and Power Automate. That's why I recommend you create a SharePoint list for your uh, projects. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty handy. It's in the Microsoft platform. So that will be the video for today. If you found this useful, feel free to like. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And I will catch you in the next one.